Hey guys, Elite Legionarii, and here's another one verse one for Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. This time I'm playing as the mighty Western Roman Empire, and my opponent Trozer again is commanding the mighty Sassanids. Uh, my army consists of five units of silver gold plum batarii, an extremely good infantry unit, four units of gold gold sarmatian auxilia, uh, three units of archers, and two units of gold attack auxilia palantina. So basically, he wants to go for this hill, I want to go for this hill, so that's what we're both going to do right away. And as you can see, um, I decide I'm going to get up right out there. I'm going to try and come right over here, get this little wee slope here. And these plumbatarii are absolutely awesome in that they they have this thing like a dart. It's I don't think it's as big as Peeler, but they can you know in regular Rome with Peeler they can throw like I don't know like three you three Peeler. These plumbatarii can throw like twenty volleys of these dart things that are just as good as Peeler. So. Don't let them sit there and throw this stuff at you, because they can destroy armies just by throwing javelins at you. And they're really good infantry as well. So, they look just like Kamita Tenses, but they are better than Kamita Tenses. Um, I would have been able to say they're possibly even the best heavy infantry in this game. I'm not that familiar with everything in this game, but I would say they're pretty damn good. And these um, Palantina are really good spearmen, they can hold out in infantry battles too. And they're just fantastic. And these auxilia, these auxilia, um, Sarmatian auxilia, that were really cool. They almost look like medieval knights. And um, they are with a really big sword, but almost like medieval in appearance. So that's really cool. And um, Trousers got these. have got these awesome. Um, he's got four units of these. Oh, sorry, five units. I think it is. No, four. I think it's four. Oh, this, I think it's gold, gold, or silver, silver um, cataphracts. It looks to be silver, silver. They're very expensive, but they're very good. And he's got six units of silver, gold, Sagidian warriors. And these guys are really good, and they've got the armor piercing mace. So they are very, very capable heavy infantry. The only infantry worth getting from the Sassanids, in my opinion. The rest is just crap. But the Sassanids are all about their cataphracts. Like a good variety of them. So we said to each other, we'll meet down this dip, and he's got this slight sort of wee height advantage, but I agree to come, so do I, so we agree to come down and meet here in the middle. For now, we're just doing, exchanging missile fire a wee bit. And I'm not really getting a lot of casualties here, much point in that, and I believe I will um, move some things forward in a moment. Yeah, what, the Western Empire is probably my third favourite. Uh, I probably tie the um, Goths and the Huns into second. And uh, anyway, he's going to bring all his cataphracts out onto the right. So I'm going to match it with my cab and my spearmen. And automatically, you can see them throwing their little darts. As you see, they're smaller and they've got like a wee different shapes on the back. But they'll just keep throwing them because they've got volley after volley after volley after volley of them. And here we get into a nice uh, cavule, and I think I catch them a wee bit off guard in my charge, which is why my auxilia are actually winning this, which is not usually that common. But they've got more upgrades too, which helps. So here I get my spearman in to assist because he's going to get these guys in, the security and warriors in to help. But I get my uh, plumbatario in. And automatically one of his units routes because they took so many peeler. Look at all these dead Sagidia warriors just to this the dart things. Because they threw like four volleys of them. And they are they can throw like 20 volleys. It's incredible. So anyway, his um, cataphracts are... Uh, I was quite surprised at my Sarmatian Auxilia holding on against his cataphracts. Because cataphracts are so good. But I think Charles have forgot to swap to the alternate weapon. So a lot of his men are still using a spear. Whereas my men have got their swords out, which is making the big difference, I think. And I've got my spears in here as well. But his cataphracts start to turn out, turn the victory in their favour, because he does get the sword out, I think. And it's starting to make a big difference. But over here, I managed to wrap round his Sagidian Warriors with my Plum Batarii, and that's going to make them rout. So that frees up a whole three of, uh, one, two, I think it's four units of Plum Batarii to surround and go around the backs of his cataphracts. So that's what I'm aiming to do right now. I know all these dead cataphracts simply due to um, 
the darts these guys wield. They're such good, um, such good units in my opinion. Probably even to the borderline of extent of being overpowered. So yeah, his units were out, and he decides to just give up. So there's a a, um, a show of the power of Plum Batarii. I had 1,024 men. I got 680 kills. I had 749 men remaining. Draws. I had 783 men deployed. He got 315 kills, and he had 100 men remaining. So my Sarmatian auxiliary did really well. I'm really impressed with them because against Cataphracts, that's an extreme achievement. Uh, these Plum Batarii did pretty damn good as well. This unit of Oxalia Palentina rather, I thought it was a Plumbatario unit, it didn't do as great, and neither did this unit, but they added the support. They only had gold attack upgrades though, so they didn't have as much, you know, upgrades as the other units. But these Plumbatario did really good, and they just got heaps of those javelins off, it was great. And my archers did a really good job as well. So all in all, everything performed, and that's a good game to Trozza, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And next time, I'll be bringing you a battle as the Burgundians, I think. So I'll see you then.